Hi guys, Tech James here. In this video, I will be showing you guys how to pretty much get any controller working on the Citra emulator. So this works with Xbox 360, Xbox One, PS3, PS4, all types of controllers, even third party ones, even right down to the PlayStation 1 and 2, and even like SNES controllers and stuff. Basically, all you need is some kind of USB controller. I will be using an Xbox 360 one for this video because um, that's just one I've got lying around. So all you wanna do is plug your controller into your computer via the USB port. Now just wait for that Windows notification sound or whatever computer you're using and um, it might install drivers. One way to check if your controller is actually plugged in and working, you want to go to the search icon down here and just click on settings. Um, from settings, what you actually want to do is just go to the home at the top here. We want to go onto devices and from here we should go, we should be able to see our controller. So if I have a look, here is mine. I've got the Afterglow gamepad for Xbox 360. So make sure your controller is plugged in and it should come up under other devices. Um, basically once we've got that, we can close out of settings because we now know it's working. We want to go to emulation at the top. We want to go to configure right here. Just click on this and then we want to go to controls. So from here what we can do is actually create a profile. So I'm just going to delete my current Xbox One. So it's probably set to default. What we actually need to do is just click on new and now you want to give it a name. So I'd recommend giving the name whatever your controller is. So I'm just going to call mine Xbox because I know it's my Xbox controller. And once we've got it that, I'm just going to click on OK. Now what we have to do, um, we actually have to press the buttons on our controller. So when you click A on your computer, you need to press the A button or whatever you want as the A button over on your Xbox controller. So I'm going to map it exactly the same. So A for A on my controller. Um, we've got B for B on my controller and then we've got um for and then we've got x we have got y um so the directional pad that is like your d-pad pretty much so we're going to do um left right up down make sure you're pressing the buttons as you click these boxes um now we've got the shoulder buttons so we've got left and right um, so left one and the right one and then we've got the lower shoulder buttons so do those as well Okay, now we've got the C stick. I'd recommend if you're using an Xbox controller, use it as the left analog stick. Um, so basically you do left, right, and then up, and then down. It should look exactly like this if you've got it right. Um, now we can also do the circle pad. I'd recommend using the right analog stick for this. So we've got left, right, and then we've got up and down as well. Okay, so we've also got start and select. We can do these. You literally just use the start and the select button. That's very easy. And then you can actually leave stuff as your keyboard. It's entirely up to you. Um, or I could actually do the like click, so like R free click. And um, yeah, you can pretty much set whatever you want really. So once we've got it and we've set it as Xbox, what you can actually do is just click on OK and it's now going to be used. So if you'd go back into it, configure and then controls, as you can see, it's now on there. And you can even switch if you want to um, from your keyboard to your controller. But obviously this is a lot better than using while using a controller. So let's go to file. Let's go to um, load a game. I'm just going to load a game. Um, I can actually go in my recent files. Um, what should we play? Yoshi's Island. Actually, let's just play something I won't probably get copyrighted. Let's play Shovel Knights. Okay, so here in a game and it works perfectly fine as well. So that is pretty much it for this quick video. I just thought I'd make a video on this. I have actually got quite a lot of Citra videos on my channel. So if you want to see some other Citra stuff, um, I've got like decrypting ROMs and full emulator setup, all of those kind of videos. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next one.